zinc is a straightforward metal to solder. The right tools and materials must be used. For natural zinc and engraved azenga, Zin 7 Flux can be used to clean the surface. For all other finishes of zinc, including VM Zinc Plus, the surface can be stripped back to bare zinc using a grinder with a plastic bristle. For quartz zinc and anthra zinc, Deca VM Zinc can also be used to strip the surface back to bare zinc. A small amount of Deca VM Zinc is poured into the soldering tray. Remember to close the lid on the Deca VM Zinc. The scribe is used to mark the lower sheet of zinc at 55 mm and another at 10 mm. The scribe is then used to mark the upper sheet at 30 mm. The protective film is removed. The Deca VM Zinc is then slowly applied to a 30 mm strip on the lower sheet. The zinc should be left for a few moments before being wiped clean with a cloth, revealing the shiny natural zinc. The same is then done with the upper sheet. The sheets are placed over each other and the top of the upper sheet is stripped. Before soldering, it is critical that clean natural zinc is exposed. Zin 7 Flux is then applied to the joint to be soldered. The soldering iron is heated to approximately 400 to 450 degrees centigrade and cleaned using the ammonia stone. The standard soldering stick is 60% lead and 40% tin and melts at 235 degrees centigrade. The first stage is to point solder so as to hold the two sheets together. For a flat soldered joint, the iron is then dragged over the joint allowing the solder to penetrate between the two sheets. The soldering stick can be used to put pressure on the sheets whilst soldering. For areas where there may be more resistance, for example in a large box gutter, a reinforced soldered joint can be used. Clean the iron and check its temperature. Small strips of solder are then laid across the flat soldered joint at 25 mm intervals. A small amount of Zin 7 Flux is added before pushing and pulling the small strips of solder into a more even layer. the protective film can then be removed. It should be noted that a properly soldered joint should be considered as part of a zinc roof and not something to hide.